Hey, it's me again. Um, I just came back with something to hopefully help push you through your day. And it's to remind you when the going gets tough, keep going. Because you can either stand in that and be stuck in that. You can keep looking back in the past and still not get anywhere. Or you can just say, okay, I got to keep going. I got to keep going. And it's kind of like your job, right? If you're sick, you'll still show up because you're afraid to lose that job. Live that way in your life. Remember that things will get tough, but you got to keep going no matter what you're going through. If, if you need to pray, journal, work out, it's like whenever I get overwhelmed, now I'm like, I got to go to the gym. And last night I was on my way to the gym and, and my boyfriend said, where are you going? And I said to the pawn shop to get a gun. He goes, what? I said, well, a gun or brass knuckles, depending on how gratifying I want this to be. <laughs> he said, where are you really going? The gym. <laughs> so I don't kill somebody because the going gets tough. And you know what? Keep going no matter how you have to keep going. And honestly, I need to join a kickboxing class because I've got all this pent up animosity inside of me. Believe me, we all have that person or that family or that job or those bosses or anything that makes us just, and it's normal. It is normal to have unpure thoughts. It is normal to want to sit down and give up. It is normal to lash out at people when you're overwhelmed. Don't tear yourself down for it. Just don't remain in that um, energy. And the best way to get out of that energy, move yourself, move your body, dance, sing, whatever it is. Scream like a kettle, get it out. Because if you sit there and you just keep, you're going to hurt yourself. You're going to end up doing more damage to everyone around you than just allowing yourself to actually be like, you know what? I'm going to go let off some steam. I used to walk all the time. I lived in Arkansas at the time. And my relationship was really rocky. And I had, my kids were younger at that time. I want to say my son might have been 10. I don't, 10 or 11. And um, I just, I didn't want to argue anymore. I, I was doing pull-ups. I was working out. I was dancing, listening to music, and it just wasn't doing it. So I was walking like five miles a day up and down the road, up and down the road. Shoot, within a month's time, I could have walked from pine bluff which is where i live to little rock and i was like man if i keep going i could walk to houston <laughs> and it just i don't know i had to get out of my head and the only thing i need i knew to do was move my body just keep moving and at that time i was even trying to get their dad to come along like come on it'll change your mood it will it'll make you feel better and eventually you get tired of arguing with an adult about them having a healthy life for themselves to have a long life but anyways that's beside the point just like i said a small reminder to tell you embrace the day believe in yourself when you are in lack when you don't have your needs being met every single day start journaling i mean this is the only journal I could find. Born to Sparkle. <laughs> That's all they had at the store the other day. And I've gone through countless spirals of just showing gratitude, of writing down my goals, my dreams, um, just little things, little messages to the universe, messages for myself to actually look back on years later. And um, you'll find wisdom in your writing. You'll see how you've grown if you'll begin to journal and kind of take those ideas out of your head and put them on paper to allow yourself time to breathe. Because when you can breathe, all of a sudden you're, you're just swimming. 
it's like Dory said, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. And for the longest time, I would walk around singing that. And it's, it's funny how these um, cartoons come out to remind us as adults and to encourage us as children what we need to do. And I don't know if anyone catches those little bits or it even shows you who the villains in life are, you know, what people are after. So maybe pay attention to things that are coming out to see a reflection of the world that you're living in because everything around us reflects how we feel internally. So at this moment, everything's flying by in my life. I mean, I sit next to a freeway, so I hear traffic all day and I see traffic jams i see accidents i see people being pulled over sometimes they pull right in under the carport in front of me and i'm like oh wow cable tv <laughs> so it's um the reality of life what you see is what you get so try to balance that and a lot of times there can be a huge battle because like i've talked about before you know words are spell work so when you have somebody that um, doesn't want to see you succeed or you have somebody that's angry or just various things and these are things that have actually affected my life personally to where I've burned my sage down to a nub don't worry I got back up <laughs> but I have to cleanse my space regularly um, using Florida water and just like putting that protection and um, Palo, Palo Santo burning that for blessings and knowing that I'm untouchable because I do share a relationship with um, my guides, with my ancestors, with my guardian angels, with my light team. And the more that you work on um, balancing yourself, the more you'll find that you get in alignment as above so below and here you are in the middle so just make sure you're trying to um, remember to keep going because it can be a tumultuous journey yes there are lessons to be learned yes there are lessons to be taught we have a lot of different um, responsibilities in this world and for the longest time I've watched a big old party. Everyone just swimming in the liquor bowl, <laughs> enjoying themselves at the restaurant. And there's, I'm not putting that down. I'm just saying sometimes you have to make a better um, choice. It can't be a daily affair. It can't be a lifelong endeavor to be stuck in the lotus room because that's the land of illusion. When you think that you're here solely for the purpose of your entertainment, you have forgotten the reason of why you're here. Yes, experience life in all of its glory, but at the same time, don't forget to give praise. Don't forget to learn something. Don't forget to teach something of value. Don't forget who you are by only entertaining I'm trying to choose carefully um, the devil's offerings, those temptations. It's okay. Pick and choose. Because yes, liquor makes us spill, feel like the gods and goddesses for just a moment until we get to that point of, whoa. <laughs> and then, now you're a dummy. You're doing stupid things. This is speaking from experience. When I took my boyfriend to a comedy show a couple weekends ago for his birthday, I had too much and I was heckling the comedian on the stage because he was heckling me in the crowd and uh, my boyfriend had to say sit down okay <laughs> and it's life it's fun right enjoy yourself just don't make a fool of yourself don't go around picking fights you know if you're gonna be drunk at least be fun drunk you know it's like even sober I'm asking my kids what do y'all want to do do you want to go jump on the mattresses in the mattress store? Do you want to like go through Walmart and just eat ice cream? And of course we'll pay for it, but you know, just things like that, just to be quirky and remind even my children, 
you don't have to be so serious about life. You, you don't have to sit here and be like, I'm professional. I'm going to be great. Because often the one thing we're forgetting is that inner child within ourselves. And when we can release that inner child and show that goofy side to us, that quirky side to us, um, share the little things about us that make people go, what? That's the side of you that the world needs to see. You know, the side of you that can come up with the, the things that can encourage somebody who's down or wanting to give up and make them go, oh, okay, I don't have to take life so seriously. And it's, um, sorry, having indigestion, I think. <coughs> it's like I had talked to this guy, um, <coughs> sorry, one second. Water helps. I had talked to this guy at the gas station and he was um, having trouble and it was weird he opened up to me like a lot of people do but um he started telling me that he has issues with talking to women and this is a, a grown man and he said i don't know what it is i get around them and i start to stutter when they're pretty and i feel foolish and i don't date and i just kind of gave up on it and i told him i said you're looking at it from a sense of them judging you rather than understanding we all have insecurities and i showed him something about myself that nobody knows unless i show you and he was like oh my god and that changed his world he was like i can't believe you showed me that and i was like just letting you know it's okay to be vulnerable and we're all hiding something that is our way of protecting ourselves and not being made fun of right but the one thing we forget we're adults we're not in school anymore people who cares if someone laughs at you laugh at yourself first that way you're not feeling victimized or bullied or getting traumatized from somebody else placing judgment on you because if you're looking for somebody else to give you value they're going to put the value on themselves first they're this life has become a competition so when it comes down to it, you don't have to compete with the world around you. The only person you want to compete with is yourself. Be better than you were yesterday. Keep working to uh, get to your highest self. That part of you that lets you shine, that inner child that helps others to smile and forget about their worries. There's, there's nothing in this life worth destroying yourself over. And when we're stuck in a moment where we're sedating our pain and we're lying to ourselves and we're creating false images for the world to see on social media or um, acting like we have skill sets that we don't so we don't seem inferior, we're hurting ourselves. Because instead, be honest. Let your light shine, you know. Do whatever it is that fulfills your soul rather than trying to live someone else's life. Or judge their life and go, oh, well, they've got it better than me. Because most people don't even understand what it is you're going through in your day-to-day -day life. Even if you have millions of dollars, you have problems. You have bills. You have um, different situations that make you pretty equal on the plane of being a human. So instead of battling the world around you, look within yourself and find your worth. Know that you can keep going know that it's okay to one up yourself if someone's saying oh you cheated or you did this or that and you know you got there honestly who cares what they say there's always going to be a naysayer so instead learn to be a haysayer you know like hey look at you good job you got this be someone who's encouraging because the world is full of things that are dragging us down mentally physically spiritually emotionally to where everybody seems like they're in a whirlwind a storm and it's okay to put the sail down and sit back for a minute even if you're in a broken chair <laughs> and just chill so just wanted to bring you that peace love and light bye